Hey everyone, today I'm going to be planting my ranunculus. So I thought I'd go ahead and go through and tell you what kinds I'm planting today. Um, I already have them soaking a bowl, so I'm going to let them soak for three to four hours. But the series that I'm planting is the Romance series, Amadine. So several colors, Bonbon, Pastel Lemon, Pastel Pink, Porcelain, and Salmon from that series. And the final series is the Butterfly series. So the names of these are Hades, Helios, Hera, Leda, and Thesus. So as I said, I already have them soaking in bowls. So let's go take a look and see how they're doing. Okay, so I have all my ranunculus set up in bowls and soaking in water. This is the Amadine series. And these are the smallest of the three types that I have soaking. And I have about 50 in here. And I'll just come by every so often and swish the water around. The second series that I have is the Romance series. And again, they're a little bit bigger than the others. And I'll just keep swishing them around every so often over the period of the three hours that they're soaking. And then the last series I have is the butterfly series. These I'm really looking forward to. And as you can see, they're significantly bigger than the others. These ones are all named after Greek gods. And they're supposed to be really beautiful. So I can't wait. And again, I'll just come by every so often and swish these around over a period of three hours. Hey everyone, so I'm back. My ranunculus have been soaking for almost four hours. I have my soil set up in a long, shallow, sterilite container. I filled it about a third of the way full with the Burpees Organic Potting Mix. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some water. I don't want it soaked, but I want it to be somewhat moist to start with. And give it a little mix here. So it's starting off good and damp. So I probably won't have to worry about watering them for two to three days. And to start, I'm going to use my butterfly ranunculus. So this is my third year growing ranunculus. And the first year, did not go well. Everything sprouted, everything was green, everything got planted out, but hardly anything grew any flowers worth using. I had maybe 10 total. So I'm not sure what happened there. I assume maybe it was their location. So last year I put them in a different spot. The first year they were getting part shade, part sun. Um, last year I made sure that they were getting a lot more sun and again they all sprouted really well for me um, I did have a lot of blooms but I wouldn't say it was great so I have about a hundred here I'm not sure if they're all gonna fit I'm planting them kind of close together because to be honest they're fairly easy to separate after they've started blooming and they have their foliage on them they're really easy to pull apart to plant so the varieties that I have here again this is my butterfly mix that I'm starting with are Hades, Helios, Hera, Lita, and Thesus. Thesus? I'm not sure how to say that one. But again, they're all named after Greek gods. And these are absolutely beautiful. 
I love the blooms on these. So again, I'm hoping for a really good outcome. All right guys, so I'm back with my second container full of soil. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting in these butterfly rinoculus. All right, so this should be my last row. And then I can try and squeeze the other two in there, although I'm not sure I may need to use a third container. All right, I'm just using a piece of cardboard with a marker to label that and keep those types separated. So the next one I'm gonna do is my amandine. So for those of you who maybe have never planted a ranoculus before or don't know how to, you want to make sure the points are down. I don't think I mentioned that earlier when I started. But they look like little octopus, kind of. And you want to make sure that all the legs are pointing down. So I should have just enough room here to finish the amidine. And then I'll have to use a separate container for my romance, which I was supposed to have 20, but it actually comes out to be like 28 of them. So that's kind of nice. I think they were stuck together and separated after they soaked for a few. These are getting to be very tiny. So this last row is little itty bitties. Last two. All right, and again, I just used a piece of cardboard and some marker to label, and I'm gonna put it right here where the new the new type starts. All right, so I'm just gonna cover these with a little bit of soil and get them under a light. All right, so for my last batch of Renoculus, this is the Romance series. I decided to just use a seedling tray. So hopefully I can get all of these guys squeezed in here. And then after I get all of these in here, I'm gonna use a light cover of soil and then get them under some grow lights. So in the past, I've always done it in a dark, cool room, but I've seen some other people try them under grow lights. So I've decided to go ahead and give it a try this year and see how it goes. Some of these still look like they're big clumps of more than one, but I guess we'll see what sprouts. A few more itty bitties. I'm just going to squeeze them in here. One more. All right. 
right, and that is my right layer of soil. And I'll get my label, again, just cardboard with a magic marker in there. And we are all set. So I will give you an update once I start seeing something happen here.